Well, hello, my babies, and welcome back to another video on It's Wendy's World. It has been a minute before I popped in just to check up on you guys. Like I said earlier, I have a few things going on that I'm trying to finalize. Um, I have some wonderful things going on in my life, too. And I just want to finish up one more little thing before I start to share with you guys. Um, I have found a, f I've rediscovered a friend. And in rediscovering this friend, I have let myself, allow myself to be open to receive um, the way he loves the way he communicates, the way he thinks, the way he rationalizes. Um, I'm feeling appreciated. I'm feeling cared for. I'm feeling wanted, desired. Um, everything that I've ever wanted, like, in a relationship, I guess. Well, I don't really want a relationship, but, you know, going through my divorce and stuff, which is almost over, that's why I'm trying to keep everything just... One more, just one more week. Bear with me, babies, because I can't say too much, but I have a whole lot to say. A lot. I told you guys I'll keep you guys caught up. Anyway, but rediscovering um, an old friend, really an old lover, um, I've learned how he is as far as being a friend and how we get along, how compatible we are. Um... He has a son. I have a son. Um, we've actually hung out together, um, have like a, a little family type day. And you guys know I loved it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm afraid to love him because I don't know what that would do to me. Um, I'm afraid to have him love me because I don't want to disappoint him. Um, and plus, when I met him, he had a little girlfriend or whatever. I was like a whole wife, you know. But um, on their, I guess, bit of their off time, you know, we kind of hooked up. And that's all it was, just kind of like a hookup type thing, you know what I mean? Because I just needed to feel desired by somebody and just whatever. Like I said, I understand what Jada Pink had said about hurting and just needing to feel good and wanting to feel good and wanting someone just to touch a different part of you. Not that this man is... 21 or 24 calls me mom okay Ugh. anyway um back to this though because that was a whole other video okay but you guys i'm having a time of my life my son is home my son likes my friend um i don't want to put a title or, or expect a title out of what we're doing because when you give somebody a title that's when they start fucking up you know and there's nothing to fuck up if I'm not your woman and you're not my man. Like, if I, if I, if I, I don't know. It's almost like playing games with yourself, you know what I mean? But it's like, there's no pressure to perform. We both had relationships. We both, you know, did what we needed to do to take care of ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We both have good jobs. We both hustle, blah, 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 whatever. Um, I'm just digging him a lot, you know what I'm saying? And I spend enough time with him to where... I'm getting to know him more and more, and I really, really like what I see, you know, and I like what I feel, I like the feelings that I have for him. Um, they're new and they're different. Yes, he is black. I know I've dated a lot of, um, I've dated interracially pretty much my whole life, you know what I mean? Um, just because I like all types of people. God made all types of people, you know? And we think so differently. We love so differently. I love different cultures. I love different, just whatever. I mean, it's what I do. It's, it's me. I ain't got to explain myself to y'all when it comes to what I like for me. Um, however, to look into this man's eyes are so beautiful and so deep and so dark. It tells so many stories, you know. And the smile that he has on his face, sometimes childlike, you know. Um... The way he drives all the way far from like 30 minutes, you know, after I'm off from work just to come spend time with me. I'm like, damn. 
Nobody ever made me feel like I'm worth it like that. You know what I mean? And he has his own place, his own money, his own everything. So it's not like he's after my money, like I'm having to buy his affection or anything. Like I said, and baby, when I tell you in every, every, in, I can't even talk. I'll just put it like this. When I'm driving to work and when I'm thinking about him, I am definitely singing. Definitely singing. Definitely singing. And any time that he wants to see me, trust me, I want to see him first. So anytime he asks, do I want company? I want to spend time. I want to see him. I'm like, uh, yeah. We have a great time together. And now we're infusing the boys, hanging out with us. And I love that so much, guys. But... Because I hooked up with him when he had a little girlfriend. I'm out of their situation. I'm like, I don't want to be with another cheater. <laughs> I'm not going to fall in love with no damn cheater. But I'll say this. Every, what you, you invoke a different feeling in people. Everybody's different. And he's completely single and available, as am I. Um, Dave and I are legally separated. So like I said, I'm completely free and single, honey. I'm um, just going through the finalization of the divorce process. But in the meantime, like I said, he has a woman live with him and everything. and had several. I got, I still, I got, I got their mail to prove it. So if he tried to lie, no. I got screenshots of him tagging them into stuff on Facebook, and I got screenshots of when they got mail there. So how about that? <laughs> so you can't lie and say she cheated on me in this divorce. No, nah, nigga, you started it. Trust me. You know, and he used to mess around with the lady on the military base too. I got proof of that too. And the paternity test he took behind my back. I got that too. Anyway, so like I said, I'm being loved right and being talked to right and being lifted up. I feel like a queen. I feel beautiful, smart, important. This man adds to what I already see. He loves and believes in Jesus, has his own type of relationship that he's strengthening. You guys, there's just so much shit going on right now, you know? Like, Amazon is going really great, still, still love my job. Nothing to complain about there. Um, I can pay all my bills and still have money left over. I've been blessed, you know, with some good financial, you know, situations. So I've been able to take care of justice a little bit extra good, you know. Treat, just spoil them a little bit or whatever. And um, my edges are doing really good. They're growing out. They're getting, you know, getting a lot thicker. I'm just still using my stuff when I take these braids out. You know, and that's when I'm going to go ahead and do an update on everything. But my little fro is, is definitely thickening up. And this one is, ca is catching up just as well. Anyway, just a quick update. I love you guys. To all my new subbies, hey. And to my girl, Miss Latrice Honeycutt. What's up, sis? It's always good seeing you in my comments. I love seeing all of you guys in the comments. I love talking to you guys. I love... um that you listen to me and that I'm able to inspire some people if I can. But in the meantime, uh, let's keep living in our truths. Put yourself first. Know that you are worth everything because I'm having to relearn that I am worth everything. All these wonderful things that has to do with the man that's happening to me right now, I'm just afraid because I don't want it to stop. And he he brings out my super sweet side. Y'all know I'm bipolar and you know, have a fucked up attitude when it comes to... When I'm in danger, but I'm not in danger or challenged or anything retarded or ridiculous. I'm just accepted. So I pray for him and I pray for me and I pray for us and wherever God leads us. And if we still just be friends, cool. I'll definitely have his back. You know what I'm saying? And I know he'll have mine and maybe we'll be best friends. So anyway, I love you guys. I always take care of you and uh, I'll see you guys in the comments. I'll see you again with the marriage update and finalization of this divorce. Bye, baby.